Welcome to this back of the net match day vlog. It's a Saturday, it's match day, and it's a London away day. Our last one didn't quite go to plan, but look, it was an easy journey up, nice little drive. We found a parking space. By the way, thank you to Fulham fan Jim, who got in touch. He said, park here, Sam. It's like, happy days. Who am I here with today? Tom's not here. Of course he is. Hello. You all right? Good, mate. How are you feeling? Are yeah, we getting yeah. three points? Oh, someone just stopped outside the car. I thought they were going to have a chat with me. Um, <laughs> are we getting three points? Yeah. I think it'll be tougher than a lot of people are anticipating. But maybe the first away game for a while, I thought, no, I'll back it us today. Mm. Um, I think, you know, if, if we play well and get a point, it's not the end of the world. As I said in the um, preview, got a value of points. But we're in a good place. They're a bit up and down. I know the form's not been great, but... I feel like we'll be alright, we'll bounce back soon. So yeah, I'll fancy the nick it today, mate. It should be a good one. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Thanks for letting me sit in the front. No worries. Uh, I haven't lost a Craven Cottage since 1992. Winning coming? Uh, I think it's gonna be a cracker. That's my sense. I think I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say it's gonna be goalicious. Yeah. Right? I reckon we're gonna go one nil up. And unlike the previous game we played, I think they'll come and try and get an equaliser and we're gonna get we're gonna get out. Or It'll go the other way and it'll be a one nil to them, but you know, there's no draws. There's no draws. As you can see, we have arrived. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. <sighs> Let's get to the pub. at the Jolly Gardeners here and here's a familiar face. Chris, how are you? You alright? Good man, you're doing good today. Have you been to Craven Cottage before? I have, but I've never been for a Bournemouth match, so really looking forward to it today. Really We've got a good it. record there and also, can we just say, this kit here that Richard's sporting, we've never lost in the kit. Oh. Is that a bad omen? I don't know. I don't know, especially with me being the jinx, not seeing a win yet. Hopefully, we'll find out. We'll find out which is stronger, my jinx or the shirt. Man City have just scored. Everton were holding them for absolutely ages, but tell you what, they're going to be top of the league, aren't they? Um, Ben's here. Hello, mate. How are we? Happy birthday to you, mate. Well, it's tomorrow, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Well, but, well uh, you know, today in Vlogland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vlogland. yeah um, tw 21, 22, is it? No, how, how are it? No, 29. Closing in on 30. It's shorter for me now. Um, <laughs> so you get smaller. How are you feeling about today? What are you yeah, right. I mean, we've been. Last game I watched was Fulham at home, yeah, so. Yeah. Pretty good watch that, so I'm feeling all right about today. We've got, got a few players back though, I think. They are. Last time. We've got a prediction. 3 0 Bomber. And they're back to back 3 0. That's what we do. How are you feeling about playing Fulham? Because they've had a, a season that's very up and down. They've got some really good results and then some not good results here and there. It seems like they sort of need a win today. Yeah, I mean, they're an odd team and I know that they've got players out, Bassi, Torre uh, and Awobi are still at AFCON um, and I know that Bassi and Awobi pretty much play every game for them and have been have been good players for them um, and they've got their injury doubts as well and obviously we're not in, if we're talking about in the league, we're obviously not in the best form Is obviously because we haven't won in four. Uh, with a few tricky games coming up, so we do need. I think well, we do need to win today just to completely ease the pressure off us. So oh, there's no reason why I shouldn't be confident, to be honest. Follow the TikTok, Ben Phillips. Oh yeah. Is this the last game for you now? What? Yeah, I'll fly back to, to fly back tomorrow morning. Yep. So it's been a fun journey, though. Been a great, been a great trip. Got to see three matches, see some other matches, do some things in the city. So it's been fun. What, like, what would you like to see from AFC Bournemouth between now and the end of the season? Any specific hopes and dreams? Yeah, it would be cool to see uh, see a little Wembley run for uh, the Cherries, and also just season-wise, just see them progress. You know, just see some players. Hopefully, we get every, we get the squad healthy, and just see how far we can go. You know, and see what Ennis does. Uh, see what he can contribute. See how far Dom, how many goals he can get and uh, just see the, the progression of some of our younger players. Adam, yeah. what are you going for? 4-1 to Bournemouth. Who scored? Dom Solanke hat trick and... It's all in black and white. Yeah, Semenya comes on the scores. 
Right, time's Fine. here, two o'clock. What's going on, Tom? Teams have been announced. Tell me what's ten happening. Ten out of 11, mate. I was close. Uh, Neto. And then we've got the back four of uh, Smith, Zabani, uh, Celesi and Kelly, Christy Cook, Scott instead of Clover. That was yeah. the only one I went different. Uh, Tavernier, Celestera and Solanke. Uh, Unal has come in for bidding. And Sadie's also in instead of the extra goalkeeper in Radu. So it's Travers, Mepham, Kirkes, Sadie, Favre, Semenyo, Clover, Dango and Unal. What's the Fulham side, Tom? Uh, it's close, mate, but Diop's back. So uh, Leno's in goal, Castagno, as I said. Reem's playing with Diop, so no tossing, which is a good thing, Ooh, but okay, Diop's good, man. Uh, Robinson, I called Polina and Kearney. I called Andres Pereira, I called the cook, Decor over Reed. I called William, but Munez, Rodrigo Munez, is starting ahead of Brojo, who's on the bench. Harry Wilson has also made the bench, as is Harrison Reed, Adama Traore, but no tossing, but Diop's back. So, um, yeah, it's kind of what I expected to a degree for both sides, but um, I'm, I'm happy with us, mate. Is Matt, are you right, mate? Yeah, good, Sam, how are you? Yeah, good. Um, you've just seen the team. What are your thoughts on this stage? Yeah, I, I like it. I, I thought perhaps, it, and he might have a knock, because he did last Sunday, didn't he, against Forest. I think that's maybe the reason that Semenyo has been swapped out for Tav, because Tav on recent form has not not been fantastic. However, we all know what he's capable of. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, the key for me is the midfield. So I like I like Alex Scott in the ten today. I think this is tailor made for him today, if we can control that midfield, because if we let Willian start pulling the strings yeah. and they get a grip of the midfield, we are in trouble. However, the midfield for me, this this trio in midfield is key for me today because. What? Offensively, they can do us some damage. Yeah. It's all about winning that battle. I, I think with the players that Fulham have got out, because they have got some key yeah, players yeah, yeah. missing, that can work to our advantage. I think we know what we're capable of. We've seen it over recent months. We need a Premier League win. We haven't had one yet this year. I'm going to go with 2-1 Bournemouth. 2-1. Two, one. <laughs> two, one. You know what? We're supposed to be going to the football ticks, but... It's warm in here. It's cosy. Should we stay? We can have some fun in here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I finally managed to prize him away from the beach hut, or whatever it is, yeah. outside the Jolly Gardeners. Nice pub, isn't it? A lovely pub, yeah. yeah. Enjoy it there. It's been a couple of times now. I uh, was just walking now towards the game. It's a nice walkway, isn't it? It's a nice walkway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It kind of builds the anticipation for the game. Uh, we're moving quite quickly, which is why my voice is. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're sounding out of breath. <laughs> a little bit late. Are we a little bit late? Yeah, we might be. Mate. Might be a little bit um, late. Any final thoughts ahead of this one, mate, before we get in? It's going to be a tough one. Do you reckon we get three points? I'm feeling positive, but that's because I've been around people who've been making me feel positive. <laughs> yeah. um, but who knows? I mean, I, genuinely, I think we need to keep this brand going, don't we? And we need to keep it exciting. As long as we do. I mean, how many games do we need to win now? Three? Oh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I think it's going to be the lowest points total in quite a while. I mean, one thing I am aware of is after this, we've got, what is it, Newcastle away, Man City. Yeah. Not going to be easy. Our March run looks good. March run looks great. But it's important to get points. Today. Yeah, really. I mean, if we can get something today, it will make a massive difference. We've got two draws in the last two games. Games, arguably, that we could have pinched, we could have won. So it'd be really nice if we can uh, shake that hoodoo off. Let's get in there, come on. Here we are, we are in. Oh, how we love a mixed concourse. Weird, eh? Here we are then, just kicked off, just made it. Let's do this then boys, come on. I mean, he needs to be shaken, I said in the thing. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Opportune time to slip up. Oh my god, mate. They're loving it. Well, King, the red flag flying on. Difficult to Wembley. Oh, that's a bad start, man. Up in the sun. 
God, man. Oh my God, we are slipping all over the place. They're slipping all over the place. This pitch has been watered. My God, man. Loads of mistakes all over. It's us making them. Oh my God, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. What a save! What a good save by Neto! My God, we are so sloppy! My God, man. Just opened up for him. William, like, just tried to slide it to the fast deck. Neto anticipated it. Not happy. Oh, we're watching it back. Oh, I didn't even die for it. Everywhere we go. Well, we got a free kick on the edge of the full of box. Absolute rugby tackle. Now. I don't know what they've been watching. Has he been booked? Six Nations, I think. Oh. No. It's going over. Always going over when you're hitting it like that. Another chance. Living dangerously here. On your right foot. Oh! First real chance to be quick. Should have a cut in from the left hand side. Was on his right. right that time. Yeah. And unlike a previous shot, which was a P roll with oh, the side yeah. netting, he got something on it. Made another one. Right, right. Fans, you happy, guys. What's happening, Tom? Any scores? Any scores? Cameron Archer, 1 0 Sheffield United. Ooh! 1 uh, 0 Liverpool, Diego Jota. Offside. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. What is he doing? Wow! I mean, that was such a poor goal to concede, and Nato, he literally just kicked the ball out of play with his right foot inexplicably, when he could have hit it with his left. Full of two up. That was bad. Oh my god, man. And look, there come the, there come the banners. Absolute shite. I thought the first ball was shite. felt like slow motion a little bit, like there could be an offside call in this, but... Yeah, I um, too, but honestly, really poor, really static. It's the same as Everton in that an individual error has just sparked calamity throughout the whole team. 2-0 Fulham. And we are making mistakes all over the pitch, man. Is that right, but where's the left man? Not sure why I was confident. Oh! Did it take a deflection or not? I can't tell what happened. I think so, I can't tell either. Oh! oh. Snapshot just wide. In terms of shots on goal, it feels like we might be almost level, but... Yeah, but shots on target, I'm not so sure. So poor. Half time then, 2-0, and that was atrocious. Oh 
almost an overhead kick. Come on, boys. For nothing is what they'll do. Is it a potential foul or something? Hold it. It must be. I bet you it's probably, you know, when he jumps, yeah, it's yeah. probably holding. It's alright, we're in, we're in. Come on! Come on. I guess you've missed a goal, by the way. I mean, I guess. Ticks. If it leads to a goal, it would be VAR, I think. Yeah, but we don't get VAR. Unless, unless it's probably considered a different phase. Hello, oh my God. Wow. Now, we all thought the ball went out of play over there. checked on VAR. It was in the same phase of play. That's a kick in the teeth, that is. I want to see that decision again. Just be all right. I like their singing here, are you? With the team you haven't beat since 1992. So, I presume it wasn't even near if they're not checking. Call the ball, love that. What a mad start to this off. Can we? Can we? Come on, let's get this in. Let's get this in. Ball in the back of the net. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, how the hell? How the hell? They claim it for our ball, but obviously. No one's running. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm disappointed, but I'm alright. But I just said to Tom Jordan, I just said that it's just back to Tony Elliott again, isn't it? That's all. Oh! 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 He was ready with his shirt off. Tabs had so many corners. Right, let's have another one. Oh! 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 One of these has got to work out, surely. No. Call the ball! Come on, boys! Come on! Another corner. How many have we had? Oh, Put Christy in front of the goal, that happens. This technique was awful. It's a many out. Call the ball again. Come on, Robert! Came to nothing. And Tom's just looking at the shots. Tom, what's the shots tally? Uh, seven Fulham, 22 Bournemouth. My God. Yeah. <laughs> Game in a nutshell, would it? We've been poor in the final third. We really have. I know you've got these shots, but we've been poor. Have a go. Next goal wins. Darren England never fails to disappoint. Move on. Dicked. <laughs> oh, full time fan cams are done. It's not a good day. England losing in the rugby. Thank God they're playing now, by the way, because um, the traffic would be a nightmare. Um, headed back to the car. Forest have just equalised against Newcastle. You can't say that. I've said that on Twitter. People haven't got me. Let's get to um, round up. No, 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 I'm, talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. All right. 
Apparently, I'm not allowed to say Brooks is better than Watara. That's outrageous. Yeah, yeah. But if you think Watara is better than Brooks, go away. <laughs> that, that's the most mental thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, also, I'm getting stick for saying I think we need a better goalkeeper yeah. because Neto made a few good saves today, which he did. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's there's no professional goalkeeper that doesn't make the saves he did. No, no. In my opinion. I hate to say it, but on, on a show a long time ago, I did say Travers in Fernando. That oh, was. Don't say that. Uh, come at you. Yeah. Come yeah. At you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Wow. Let's... He's our skipper, all right? He's a hundred grand a week till he's 37. Leave it. Let's just uh, calm down. Recuperate and get some food, <laughs> and then we can we can talk. I love this club. How <laughs> are you, Chad? Swing low. So look, we're uh, at Roundham's, and uh, we looked at the stats afterwards, didn't we? Uh, we outshot them ridiculously, but they had more shots on target. Which <laughs> yeah. Did Taylor two defences, I think, their ticks today. Absolutely. I think we had like twenty-one shots off target. Yeah. So uh, it's like a, a, you know, I think we had twenty-seven shots around like that, and they had. They had, I don't know, how many was it? Six oh. or something? And they got all like a four on target? Anyway, it was awful. Tom's been um, creating some Twitter beef by the sounds of it, right? Twitter with, uh, Has he? With comments on like David Brooks and stuff oh. and Watara. I don't think he's he's berating Watara, but he's just saying that, you know, Brooks can obviously unlock teams, albeit Huddersfield in the Championship. Yeah, I think he would have he been a more effective substitution to come on today. And that's not just Watara, that's the other subs as well, maybe. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's basically said, you know, Brooks is a better player than Watara in his yeah, opinion yeah. at doing that sort of thing. Well, that's no different to saying that Watara is a better player than Conor Mahoney, is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not having a go at Conor Mahoney, is it? Yeah. It's just... We'll debate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, um, we're going to have a second look at some point soon yeah. to, um, to go over it, because you all want to do that. And then, um, what else? Premier League show, Way Day shows. Yeah. And then, um, that's my favourite at the moment, Premier League show. If and you then, haven't checked that out, check it out, please. And then next week, uh, Newcastle, and just sort of uh, you're thinking a good result, positive result, or some kind of momentum in performance might be able to take us into a, a tough game with Eddie. We always get a result, but they've just got a result over Forest, so it's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a really, really tricky one. Yeah, yeah. It is, and, I, and then we got City after that, so it, uh, there's not much, not much on the horizon there, is there? Not much to climb. But hey, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Right. The final word on this vlog is from Adam Hensman. I'm going to give him a one-word way to finish this vlog. What are you going to say, Adam? Rubbish game. That's two words, for goodness sake. One job, Adam.